Yo, listen to this. Blow by blow. Blow by blow. Beloved, we've been watching these shows for years. Years. These crime mysteries and, and crimes of passion and uh, fatal attractions. And they tell the same exact story. The same exact story. The one that we've been telling. The ones that we've been telling. Except they didn't survive. They didn't live to, uh, uh, you know, tell the story. Right? Some of them didn't. Check this out. Just this little part. Listen, 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 listen. Tell me his life. It was business travel. Business travel. Business travel. Business travel. Business travel. Business travel. Bruce was never available in the first place. He was married. Wait, 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 sorry, sorry, go back. Go when back. I found out that he was... Check this out. <laughs> Sound like my story. I think offering sex. As a mother, I wanted to kill him. I was on a mission of being strong and a mission to put him in jail. I, that was my goal. With Listen. a minor involved, police now take Sarita's complaints seriously. With a minor involved, the police now take her complaint seriously. Police. Little detective work reveals that Bruce is not the well-paid IT consultant he claims to be. I found Who out are you, Bruce? He did not work in the place that he said he worked. He also was unemployed. Then they discover another big lie. What was that? When I found out that he was... He was married. I was just like shocked. Not only me too. he tried to seduce me and destroy my life, but he lied to me from the beginning about everything that he said he was. Bruce trained his family's bank accounts to romance Soraya, telling his wife it was business travel. Bruce was never available in the first place. He was married. And so, although he held her feet to the fire, wanting that big commitment from her, he ended up never being the guy who could commit. And that's the great irony here. Anytime someone's that obsessive, it's always a curtain over a far greater conflict. So it's a cautionary tale for Coo -coo. everyone. To always dig a little deeper when someone's acting a little bit wack. Held her feet to the fire to commit to him. And the whole time he never committed to her. This is how you can tell that it's a spirit. When a mass of people do the same exact thing. That is a demon. Or demons. She just explained. Was she just explained? was exactly what happened to me. Exactly. And I know exactly what happened to a lot of y'all. Exactly. Now, how could all these different people do the same things? How could all these different people do the same things all over the world? Why? Because it's a Jezebel spirit amongst others. But it's absolutely a Jezebel spirit. Usually Jezebel comes uh, 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 right behind Leviathan. Sometimes Ahab is in there. It's crazy. Crazy. Uh -huh. I just had to show y'all that. Like I was like, ah. Oh. Oh, that sounds familiar. <laughs> All right, love it. You know what? I'm off. I'm off work <laughs> tomorrow and the next day. I might, I might do a little uptick in these videos. You know, I might, I might drop twenty and thirty. You know how I do. Uh, probably not that much, but I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be dropping some more. I'm gonna be dropping some more. It's time to put him in a coffin. It's time to put him in a coffin. Y'all remember? <laughs> put him in a coffin. All right. I'll holla. Later, y'all. Love y'all, beloved. Keep your heads up. All right. All right. Later. Peace.